Ugh, I'm really tired right now. I think I'm gonna go back to bed. Wait a minute. I can't do that. Never mind. I got a show for you guys. What's going on, everybody? Hopefully, you guys have an awesome start to your day. You guys know that there are hundreds and hundreds of different types of pet snakes to choose from out there in the pet trade. Now, there are a few of them out there that I have noticed over the years that kind of act like drama queens out there. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a very few of those snakes in the pet trade that actually are quite dramatic in some very funny but yet some what awkward ways. So obviously the first dramatic type of snake that we obviously can probably know in the reptile pet trade is probably one of the, not one of the, only the most dramatic, but also probably one of the cutest looking funny snakes probably in the hobby. Let's go ahead and check out these cute moments with some of these hognose snakes. So we can definitely now that agree that hognose snakes are probably one of the most dramatic but also one of the funniest pet snakes anybody can purchase. And they also have some kind of funny personalities in a way. Kind of like whether it's crawling inside a little knitted little sweaters or if it's kind of like using their literal little, little pug nose trying to dig into the bedding in their enclosure. I don't know, it's just something funny about hog noses, you guys. And I've always thought about it for the last several years too that I've actually thought about getting a hog nose. But the only downside is with me personally is that for the last four or five years, the Western hog nose, which is the most common one in the pet trade, has really gone up in popularity, you guys, and the price range has really gotten up too. Obviously because of not just popularity, but also different kind of morphs that have been produced. Obviously whether it's the anaconda or the superconda that's been produced, and yeah, that's why it's so popular and it's really expensive to afford. So, I don't know if I am going to get one anytime soon, but it would be cool to have one of those little dram drama dramatic noodles to actually have in my possession. So, But tell me what you guys think about hog noses. Do you guys think they're absolutely adorable or do you find them kind of wacky and kind of, uh, I don't know, awkward? Well, tell me what you guys think. I figure it would be a really nice day. Oh, come on bud. Don't you want to go for a walk? <laughs> Got him a little confused there for a moment. But yeah, gonna go ahead and take this pooch for a walk here. Okay, everyone. So I've mentioned this on the channel already a few times within the last maybe month or so, but I've actually been shooting another channel that I've been doing for already a month or two so far um, on doing some fishing around my area here everybody. I know it might sound a little boring to some people but since now that we are in the spring everybody already when it comes to springtime that means that bass are coming up into the shallows to get on their beds and being ready to spawn. And I actually been lately been shooting with this Canon camera right here this Canon Rebel T3i which I actually just got maybe like a month ago at least a month ago and it's actually been a great camera that I've been bringing with me to the outdoors. Everybody can shoot great outside in the daylight. And I actually got an external mic for it too. So I'm gonna, I've am i been bringing this along with me for like extra camera shots. So the point being is, is that for the last month, I've been releasing some content on the on the other channel, which by the way, the name of it is Jim Goes Fishing. I'll leave a link in the description. You guys can go ahead and like and subscribe to it, you guys. And Almost every week since spring has officially arrived, I've been traveling to some other parts. So I'm thinking about, I'm doing once a weekend, everybody. I'm traveling to some other parts here of my area to actually film some like fishing content. Because I know fishing, especially here in Michigan where I'm from, you guys, Michigan is a is literally well known for sports fishing. And we obviously have several game fish here that are quite popular, whether if it's like yellow perch, walleye, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, um, and I think there's uh, trout too, yeah, trout and salmon's another popular one. So I'm, I'm kind of like doing a series of like filming, filming once a week, like I said, of doing some fishing adventure for you guys. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, conclude this, everybody, um, with asking you guys a, a little favor for me. If you guys can do this for me, 
Let me know if you guys know any like small areas where there are some good of amounts of bass, whether it's large mouth or small mouth, doesn't matter either of those two species. As long as it's a very good hot spot, I will um, maybe give that area a try. So if you guys could actually reach out to me on Instagram, I'll leave the link right here at the bottom of the screen here. You guys can go ahead and DM me on there and actually let me know if you guys know any places in the local area that are very, very well known for bass. And uh, who knows, I'll probably schedule um, a visit there sometime and actually see if there's any good of amount of bass in there. So you guys can actually do that for me. It would really be appreciative because right now I'm starting to run out of the most spots I'm familiar with. But if you guys have any more within maybe like an hour, hour and a half away from here, Feel free to hit me up on Instagram, you guys. Like I said, link right here. It's gonna be right at the bottom of the screen. A little quick change of topic, everyone. So we obviously just had a few weeks ago the NFL draft. So one of the biggest NFL stories of the off season was obviously about the trade of Aaron Rodgers. And I, I've told the story. I've told you guys this before in the vlog. I have been a Packers fan for almost 10 years now. And prior to that, I was never really a football fan. To be completely honest with you, the, one of the teams that I really, really was supportive of was kind of Green Bay. Because Green Bay has had a great legacy history over the last 100 years in the NFL. They've won the most national titles than any other team in the NFL. Even though they don't have the most Super Bowl titles, they still got a decent amount at four rings. When it comes to the discussion with Aaron Rodgers, it's, a, it's pretty controversial. I'm gonna go ahead and discuss it to you guys a little bit more here. Aaron Rodgers' trade story, you guys, has, is currently the biggest NFL story headline of this entire offseason. And Aaron Rodgers, obviously, his trade was no surprise to me personally because about a month prior, I believe it was, about a month prior to the draft, he actually stated on camera on a live podcast talk show that he did plan to go to the New York Jets. So obviously that told us, that obviously clears some of the air to let us know that, okay, he's not going to be playing in Green Bay anymore. He's, his 18 years there are up. And now that he officially is traded to the Jets, just right around the draft time, what can we expect from him to do there? That's a very difficult question. A lot of people are asking the same thing, like, what can we expect now with the Jets? Honestly, Aaron Rodgers, there's no denying it, he is going to be one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Definitely in the top 10. And obviously, despite him winning one Super Bowl title, he's definitely no doubt a future Hall of Famer. He's broken numerous NFL records. And, well, he's, he's accomplished some things in life. Unfortunately, he didn't get any more Super Bowl titles, but now that he's on a different team, this could be a change here, you guys. This is a big game changer now. The Jets, before Rodgers got traded, the Jets were not even in the top 10 we're not even a top 10 Super Bowl contenders for the next coming Super Bowl. Now, they're in the top 10. I think they're ranked 6th or 7th on the list. Now that's because they got Aaron Rodgers. But, the only question is though, do they have enough good weapons for Aaron Rodgers to throw to? That's a good question there. Do I think they got enough weapons? I, I'm not sure if they do. This cat, people, I tell you, this cat has probably the loudest snore of any other domestic cat I have ever heard in my entire life. Like literally when I try to go to sleep at night, she literally snores. And sometimes I question myself, is my snores really that bad? It seems like my mom's boyfriend kind of tells me that. I'm also excited, everyone, to address to you guys some exciting news this coming weekend. I'm actually going to be heading out of town for most of the day Saturday and I'm going to be actually bringing you guys along to my first herping adventure for 2023 and it's something I've been wanting to do now because you know I've been obviously constantly posting YouTube content you guys a lot whether if it's like you know family fun stuff reptile related or if it's like doing my fishing channel too I've been busy with all that and now I pick I schedule for this weekend to be perfect you guys the weather hopefully it's cooperative and things go according to plan. I'm going to be taking you guys to a spot where I took you guys last year, I think once or twice, once or twice, and we actually found all sorts of creatures there, whether it's turtles, snakes, uh, frogs. Um, so yeah, it's hopefully it goes according to plan. And of course, I mean, who knows? Who knows what we're going to find there? But regardless though, 
I'm also going to be shooting a fishing video at near this location, not far away from it, too. So it's going to be very busy for me. I'm going to probably have to get up early in the morning, probably like 7 o'clock at the earliest, I'm thinking, probably 7 o'clock. Because I'm going to be there for most of the day, and I'm going to be doing a lot of filming. So regardless, though, that's just what I just wanted to address to you guys. And of course, that same day when I'm gone, my girl Ariel here. Oh, hi, girl. You talk. You wanted to say hello. You want to say hello? <laughs> oh, she's so funny. You're so funny. You know that. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Curious about the audience saying hello. So she's also got to eat the same day I leave too. So I'm thinking that obviously, yeah, I got, I got to feed her. I'm going to have to feed her when I come back, everybody, because if I leave at 7 in the morning, get up 7, 7.30, I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to feed her in the morning, so i got to feed her when I get back, so that girl's just going to have to wait, so, but you are still a sweet girl, though. I love you. Yes, I do. You're such a cute girl. You're such a puppy dog. So my hands are going to be really tied this Saturday, you guys. I'm going to be shooting two separate videos for almost 12 hours straight. Obviously here on my vlog channel and then I'm gonna be shooting another one on my fishing channel. I'm gonna be busy, you guys, so um, hopefully I can find a place to maybe eat real quick for lunch and then we'll continue on throughout the day and see if we can find anything. And I think, um, shoot. There's something also I wanna talk to you guys about next week as well because I think it, it's gotta be talked about here, everybody. And it's something kind of serious. I'm not going to address it right now because I'm going to end the video here in a moment. So, but with that being said, everybody, um, like I said, we're going to have a busy Saturday. I'm going to bring you guys along. And hopefully we can have actually some fun out there and see all sorts of wildlife. So, if you guys really do want to actually see so much of that, feel free to smash that like button, you guys. And also, hit turn on. The, feel free to subscribe, too, while at it, you guys, since you can stay notified for every video that I post. And uh, turn on that notification bell. So, with that being said, everybody, this video is officially over. Thank you.